the classic game of Simon Says, where the computer challenges your mentality to figuring out the... Okay, well, let's try and see if we can figure out how to do it instead of how to play it. So in this video, we're going to be looking at Array Maker and Playmaker with two new actions, ArrayList Remove At and ArrayList Count, along with others I've demonstrated in other videos to create this Simon Says type game. Now another example of this is actually found in the Playmaker ArrayMaker Samples folder named uh, Simon Says. But we're just going to be looking through it in this video and providing a different way of, of making the game with buttons instead of with numbers. So to start off we have our game object with a ArrayList proxy already attached to it. Just to, just uh, as you know, you go to Playmaker Add-ons, ArrayMaker, Add ArrayList Proxy to add it in. And we have it referenced as pattern with a prefill type of game object and a prefill count of zero. So to go through the actions of what's going on here, the states, uh, it starts off with a clear list, ArrayList clear. We want to start each game by making sure that we have no prefill types. Once that's complete, we go to iterate and use the iterate action where we have our pattern count already set to three. That way we go through one, uh, an index of one to three, it counts off for us and it's gonna go through these states where it picks a random object, adds that object to the ArrayList proxy. We wanna show the player by sending an event to the object itself have a small pause and then go through the iterations until we're complete with the with all the pre-filled uh, objects. Once that's done, we're going to go into the watch user input where we're going to wait for the player to select one of them and we're going to see if it's right or wrong in the check input. Here's where we have the ArrayList get where it gets the first object from the from the pattern reference and sets it as a variable we're going to compare that and then if it's correct we go to ok if it's not correct we go to user failed where we set the int value pattern count back to three resetting it and go to a game over state if we are correct here's where we use ArrayList remove at now to go into more detail with ArrayList remove at what we're doing is that we're getting the pattern and removing the first one, the index zero. Let's go through an example inside the game. So it's going through the sequence and you see that we have blue, blue, red, blue. If this were at index one, two or three, then it would remove that game object instead. But since we're at zero, and we want to go in order, we're removing it in that order. Blue. And it removed that one, and now we have a new item zero. Once that's done, we go to a check where we see if it went through all four. And then we use an ArrayList count where we have the reference pattern, use owner game object, and we're counting to see how many items are left. Then we do an in compare of that count and if it's equal to or less than zero, we're going to yes. Yes meaning we have already gone through the selection and we won the level. If it's not greater than, then we go to no, which lets us restart and count again to see if we want to finish the level or continue the, the game. So to finish, we have the win state where it plays our sound for for the victory and then once we won you want to increase that pattern count to one that pattern count that can be found here so that we add difficulty to the game and that's just one example of how to use ArrayList remove at and ArrayList count two actions in the many in the array maker package that i hope helps you make more complex and fun games if you guys have any questions comments or would like to see anything else uh, for an example of how to use it with a Raymaker, just let me know on the forums page or here on the YouTube page. And if this has been helpful at all in making your game, well then please share it in the forums page so I can check out your great work.